Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome to those of you watching on OneSpotMedia.com. The Met Service is urging the public to brace for more extreme temperatures with between 15 and 20 above normal hot days projected for the rest of the summer. Already, many Jamaicans, especially the most vulnerable in places such as Portmore St. Catherine, are experiencing heat stress. Now, Kalisha Williams has more in this primetime news special report. From the veranda to the beach, leaving windows and doors open to staying hydrated, residents in Helsha St. Catherine are doing almost everything to battle the bitter heat. You have to be constantly getting hydrated, just drinking water like every, every half an hour to, to, restrict, to get back that fluid in the system. And even when indoors, it's no better. As the temperature rises, wall fans just won't work. And it's when then you turn on the fan, the fan has been hot heat. And the mosquito them again, you know. Welcome to Parliament. Or at least that's what the people here in Helsha Park call this tree. It's a prime example of just how important trees are. This is where many people come to cool off in the sweltering heat. For the elderly, it's worse. Many believe they have been experiencing heat stress. Extremely hot, especially at night, you know, because, because the house, with the, um, the, the, the slab roof, it retains a lot of heat. I was just sweating profusely. My sheet was wet, my pillow was wet. So I just, just to get some fresh air and, and you know, leave that sweatiness, I went to the veranda and there I, the breeze was blowing. So it was passing through on the veranda and I was able to just sleep on the, on the couch outside on the veranda for the rest of the night. Director of the Tropical Metabolism Research Unit, Dr. Georgina Gordon Strawn, agrees it is possible that the senior citizens in Portmore are experiencing heat stress. Can become confused, irritable, you can faint, you may feel nauseous, um, and you can feel tired and very, very thirsty, your heart rate can go up. And when this happens, especially for like the elderly, if they become a bit confused, they may fall or their symptoms, you may, you may think that they're having dementia because they're not really making sense when they're talking to you, but what has happened is that they're actually dehydrated. Globally, it is worse. In India, 68 people, mostly seniors, have died as temperatures soar. According to the United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, El Nino, which causes the ocean temperature to rise, is driving the heat wave in many countries. Locally, the Met Service says the temperatures have been climbing island-wide since June. And we compare with the maximum temperature. So Kingston from June 1, right, we do weekly updates. So from June 1 to 18, Kingston would have experienced four hot days based on the top 10%. And once it's consecutive, so we have two pairs of consecutive um, hot days, so we'd have had two pairs of heat wave in Kingston over the past um, three weeks. The forecast for the summer into October is bleak. Meteorologist Adrian Shaw says while rain is on the horizon, it will be heavy and flooding is likely. As for the temperatures, we are looking up to end of August, at least, fif at, at least 15 to 20 heat wave days. So, so far at Manor, we have gone four since June. And for Sang International Airport, we have also gone six heat wave days. Which is why Jamaicans are being warned to take the necessary precautions to stay cool and follow updates from the Met Service. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.